into the last lap. Just 3.2 miles to go for Keith O'Dor's first win for Nissan. If he stays where he is, this will be by far his biggest win, and the flags are certainly going to be waving at Jan Speed in Salisbury. He's nearly home, into Bridge, the very fast right-hander, onto Priory, Brooklands, the two right-handers at Luffield, then to Woodcote Corner to complete the lap, and that'll be his last lap, and the team are naturally delighted. And in the cap, that's Keith's dad, Jan O'Dor, and he's had a triple heart bypass. And out of Woodcote, across the line, goes Keith O'Dor, and O'Dor wins in the Nissan Primera. Delighted. Win Percy second, 1-2 for Nissan. Ready seats third, but who's fourth? Winklehock or Leslie, as John Clellan finishes sixth. And here's a battle for seventh between Menu and Donidel. And collision, Menu spins off. Now, is he out like Harvey? No, he's not. He rejoins. That's Harry Nuttall going through to take the place. Tiffany Dell limping in, Nuttall passes him. Well, what a finish. So, Nissan joined BMW and Renault as winners in this year's British Touring Car Championship. First and second, in fact, and Keith O'Dor has every reason to be delighted. I was following the Toyota to start with, they disposed of each other, and then it was a case of really just defending against Steve for the last sort of ten laps. The car was strong in certain areas, which gave me a bit of an advantage. So when we got to the point where I had a disadvantage, I was able to fend him off, but I think he cooked his tyres in the end. But the Nissan, it was just fantastic. It just went the whole distance really, really well.